Indian culture is extremely, extremely ancient. We have to accept that civilization in, in India is, is, is at least 5,000 years old. That is one of the mistakes in looking for a quote unquote advanced civilization in the past is that we tend to be looking for ourselves. Whereas it's possible for a civilization to be advanced in other ways. Could the astonishing Kailasa temple at the Ellora Caves, carved meticulously from a single massive rock, truly be the work of mere mortal hands? There is a particular seal that has survived, and it shows a figure which is, which is recognizable as the god Shiva. This ancient architectural marvel, built in the 8th century under the patronage of King Krishna of the Rashtrakuta dynasty, stands as a monument not only to devotion and artistry, but also to an engineering prowess that seems almost superhuman. I think we're confronted by an enormous mystery with megalithic sites all around the world, uh, and we don't understand them properly. With its elaborate carvings and grand scale, the Kailasa temple has sparked a captivating debate. Was this colossal structure really constructed using primitive tools of the age, or does it bear evidence of intervention by an advanced civilization, possibly beyond our earthly realm? Some people find, think that the answer is, is extraterrestrial visitors. <laughs> I don't think that's the answer, but yeah. who knows? Tucked away in the basaltic hills of Maharashtra, the Ellora Caves complex is an architectural marvel of ancient India. Spanning from 600 to 1000 AD, these caves house a remarkable blend of Buddhist, Hindu and Jain heritage. Among them, Cave 16, better known as the Kailasa Temple, stands out as the crowning glory of the site. Historically referred to as Verul, the area's location along ancient north-south trade routes undoubtedly played a critical role in its development. The Kailasa Temple, known for being the largest monolithic rock excavation in the world, showcases the advanced state of engineering and architectural skills during the 8th century. This temple was not built but rather carved top-down from a single massive rock, requiring meticulous planning and execution that speaks volumes about the capabilities of its creators. There are unexplained issues in our past, right. which are presently not explained by the system that teaches us about the past. Under the patronage of King Krishnavarman of the Rashtrakuta dynasty, the temple was commissioned around the mid 8th century. King Krishnavarman, also known as Krishna Rajanram, embarked on this ambitious project to emulate the sacred Mount Kailash, the mythological abode of Lord Shiva. The temple not only served as a place of worship, but also as a demonstration of the power and artistic aspiration of the Rashtrakutas. During a period of British colonial expansion in India, British officers often ventured on expeditions for leisure and exploration. It was during one such excursion that the lush, overgrown vegetation of the Maharashtra region, which had concealed the Ellora Caves for centuries, finally gave way to one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in India. A lot of archaeology that gets done doesn't get done because of a targeted search. The year was 1819, and the caves, untouched and perfectly preserved as if in a time capsule, were stumbled upon accidentally by Captain John Smith and his party. The discovery by Captain Smith wasn't merely about uncovering a lost site, it was a revelation that peeled back the layers of India's rich and ancient civilization, which had thrived long before European powers set foot in the region. As Smith entered the caves, he was confronted with the grandeur of India's past, an intact cultural heritage that spoke volumes of its historical depth and complexity. However, Captain Smith left behind more than just the memory of his discovery. In what is now viewed as an act of historical vandalism, he inscribed his name and the date on a pillar inside Cave 10. At the time, such actions were common among explorers, who often left their marks as records of their presence. This graffiti, though frowned upon today, provided a tangible record marking the European discovery of the site and has since become a point of contention in discussions about heritage preservation versus the historical markers of colonial exploration. Following this accidental discovery, there was a renewed interest in the Ellora Caves, leading to more systematic explorations and excavations. The Archaeological Survey of India, established in 1861, took on the mammoth task of excavating and preserving these ancient sites. Their efforts were crucial in maintaining the structural integrity and historical accuracy of the caves as they faced the dual pressures of time and increasing tourism. Detailed studies and documentation efforts were spearheaded by early explorers and scholars like James Burgess and later Ghulam Yazdani. 
Their meticulous work in cataloging the sculptures, iconography, and architectural styles has been compiled into extensive reports and books, which remain invaluable resources for Indological studies today. This comprehensive documentation helps ensure that the Ellora Caves, including the magnificent Kailasa Temple, continue to be understood and appreciated not just as monuments, but as gateways to India's illustrious past. The Kailasa Temple, also known as Cave 16 at the Ellora Caves, truly stands as a testament to the ancient mastery of rock-cut architecture. This stunning structure isn't just a testament to grandeur, but also to a unique construction methodology that melds religious devotion with unmatched craftsmanship. Unlike traditional buildings constructed from the ground up, this temple was carved directly out of a single massive rock, a process that required not only extreme labor but also precise planning. The effort to remove approximately 200,000 tons of rock from the site underscores the monumental human endeavor that went into its creation, likely involving hundreds, if not thousands, of laborers across several generations. Ancient cultures all around the world preserved a memory of a high civilization, of prehistory. Symbolically, the temple mirrors Mount Kailasa, the mythical abode of Lord Shiva, suggesting that the architects intended to create a heavenly abode on Earth. This ambition is evident not just in the temple's scale, but also in its elaborate multi-storied design, which features a rare vertical expansion in rock-cut architecture. Each floor is intricately adorned with carvings and statues that bring to life stories from Hindu mythology, especially those focusing on Lord Shiva, enhancing both the religious and aesthetic appeal of the temple. Comparing the Kailasa Temple to the ancient city of Petra in Jordan highlights its unique features. While Petra is renowned for its impressive facades carved into rock faces, the Kailasa Temple goes a step further. It is not just a facade but a complete excavation with intricate vertical carvings that make its interiors as spectacular as its exteriors. Unlike Petra's relatively plain interiors, the Kailasa Temple is elaborately detailed with entire floors, columns and ceilings that are ornately decorated to reflect Hindu religious themes. The engineering behind the Kailasa Temple also addresses some significant challenges, such as maintaining structural integrity while removing massive volumes of rock. The architects and engineers employed their deep understanding of geology and engineering to ensure the stability and durability of the remaining structures. They even incorporated an ingenious drainage system to prevent water accumulation and erosion during the region's heavy monsoon seasons. Moreover, strategic placements of openings and alignments within the temple structure allow natural light to flood its interiors, enhancing the spiritual and aesthetic experience for visitors. The layout also facilitates the circulation of air and movement of devotees, crucial during religious ceremonies. These intriguing aspects of the Kailasa Temple, combined with the mysteries surrounding its construction, have fueled various theories about its origins and the techniques used in its elaborate design. From theories suggesting extraterrestrial influence to speculations about advanced ancient technologies or a network of secret chambers, the temple continues to be a subject of fascination and scholarly debate. I think the dating of quite a number of megalithic sites needs to be reconsidered. These discussions not only celebrate the architectural genius of the temple's creators, but also deepen our appreciation for this ancient marvel. Exploring the mysteries of the Kailasa Temple at a more refined level reveals a range of fascinating theories that try to explain its incredible construction. One such theory suggests that the technology and precision required for its creation in the 8th century might hint at extraterrestrial influence or the use of advanced ancient technology that has since been lost. While this idea captivates the imagination, most scholars and archaeologists believe that the temple's construction was well within the capabilities of human ingenuity at the time, pointing to similar rock-cutting techniques used across India long before the temple was built. Another intriguing theory about the Kailasa temple involves the possibility of a network of secret tunnels and chambers beneath the complex. Local legends and some speculative reports suggest that these could have served as passages for religious ceremonies or as escape routes during invasions. However, thorough archaeological investigations have yet to confirm these claims, and the natural rocky terrain of the area makes such an extensive network rather unlikely. The alignment of the Kailasa temple with celestial bodies forms yet another theory. 
Some believe that the temple, like many ancient structures, was designed in alignment with certain stars or planets to harness cosmic energies during significant astronomical events such as solstices and equinoxes. While there are notable celestial alignments at other ancient sites that lend some support to this theory, concrete evidence linking the Kailasa temple's orientation with celestial events remains elusive. As these theories continue to pique curiosity and scholarly debate, the significance of preserving such a monumental site has never been clearer. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Ellora Caves, including the Kailasa Temple, are the focus of ongoing preservation efforts. These efforts are crucial in protecting the site's intricate carvings and magnificent structures from both natural elements and the impacts of modern-day tourism, ensuring that this ancient marvel can be appreciated for generations to come.